I just asked for your transcendent peace upon Georgia and I right now. I thank you that you have moved the weather when we prayed. And we just say no rain in Jesus' name. And even if it does, it's going to be magical. And I just pray you calm anxiety, keep us warm. And I'm just blessed today. And may it just be everything that you hope it will be. And that's on our hearts. In keeping with the outdoor theme, gardening, trees, plants, I'd like to offer Matthew and Georgia some gardening tips for their future home and life. In your garden, plant three rows of peas, peace of mind, peace of heart, peace of soul. Three rows of lettuce. Let us be faithful. Let us be kind. Let us be patient. And four rows of time. Time for each other. Time for family. Time for friends. And time for prayer. Water freely as we did today with patience and cultivate with love. God bless you. There were a couple of key world events that happened in 1994. The first one was Matthew was born. I feel sad that he is no longer a cute, cuddly, smiley, happy toddler. His mantra to his mum was, he wanted to be the centre of attention, and he constantly said to his mum, look at me, mum. And he obviously knew he was the centre of our universe, and he milked it all the way. We all know that Matt is very famous for his quick and short passions. To quote Jez, anything will get at most six months of passion. There have been many moments where I have watched Matt pick up a new fad and I have thought to myself, yeah, this is probably going to go a few months. And I think I've been right pretty much every time. <laughs> Except for kefir. And for those of you who don't know what kefir is, it's fermented milk and I don't know how you drink that. It's over? So don't worry, Georgia, you really did pass that six-month threshold. And Matt really has found a gem in you, and he's very determined when I heard about you. I've had the absolute honour and privilege of being around to share a lot of firsts for Georgia. The first time she drove her car, the first time she crashed her car, <laughs> and the first time she maybe drank a little too much. Speaking of drinking, um, Dan, if you could get the screen ready, um, I have a video for everyone. I'm just kidding, I don't have a video. But like, <laughs> I do have videos if you want to see them, find me later. It's my wedding day! <laughs> Her and gorgeous Kate, they went to Europe. No sooner had she been on the plane when I discovered that movie called Taken. <laughs> to say that for the next few weeks I was on edge is the understatement. It was during this time I realised that she was still my little girl. She was still growing up to be responsible, street smart, and in fact in love with life and later on discovered in love with Matt. Matt has done so much for Georgia, and at the very least has taken some of the heat off my back. Um, no, 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 but, but seriously, I really do love you too, um, and I'm so happy that you guys decided to get together. Guys, it's been an honour. Dee, I'm really going to miss you living with us. Nico, keep it real and don't ever forget to listen to her. I love you both so much. Those days when Matt was in Africa, Georgia would say to me, I don't know about it, like he just seems a bit too serious. <laughs> Little did we know then that we'd be here today.
have a very different brother-sister relationship. My brother is 16 years younger than me. I caught him as he came out. That's not something every sister gets to say. Yep. Um, and I will continue to catch you if you ever fall. And I will continue now to catch you too, Georgia. On Georgie's wedding cake, there is a little angel. That angel was on my great-grandmother's cake, on my grandmother's cake, on my mother's cake, on my cake, and on Georgia's cake. And I like to believe that she comes from a line of strong women. And so, Georgie, we wish you every blessing as you spend your life with Matt, showing courage, determination, love for each other, and for God. And like today, it won't always be smooth sailings. There will be some storms. But just today, when it was hailing, I looked across at Matt and Georgia, and they were smiling. And if anyone can get through the storms of life, it's you two. To you, Georgia, my wife. I've been sold on you since our, our first few dates, and I wanted to marry you since I first told you I loved you. I feel a sense of victory us standing here today at the tail end of our wedding because as I look back at the past year it's been one of the hardest that we've been through and you Georgia you've bravely faced pain and trauma and you've worked harder than I've ever seen you work before all while we planned our wedding so I feel a sense of victory that we're here In the last few months I've done some thinking of this concept of falling in love. You see society reckons you've made it if you've fallen in love. But to be honest, I don't like the phrase because I'm not standing here by accident. It's taken three years of hard work and commitment and joy and tears and breakthrough and choice. Sure, Matthew and I may have met out of the blue, but the fact that we're standing here is because we chose to. I promise to protect you emotionally, physically and spiritually. And I promise that in our home, you will be safe and you will be celebrated. I promise to let you in, even when it's really hard. And I promise to let you love me, sorry. Especially when it's easier not to. I promise to point you towards God always and let you do the same when I fail to. And I promise that I'll never tire of the words, I love you, I'm sorry, and amen. a world changer and a mountain mover and I'm unbelievably excited to see what our future looks like together so bring on the next chapter I love you we'll see more heartbreak frustration and death but we'll be in the arena and we'll be available people matter so Georgia my wife my bride I couldn't be more confident in doing this with you I'm so proud of you I love you. You're my favourite person. I couldn't be happier. So give me a kiss and let's have a dance. I don't say what's on my mind quite as much as you like me to. I so confidently want you when you say you're insecure about my feelings. Don't take it serious But if you need me to tell you more May I have this dance To make it up to you Can I say something crazy? I love you And I want you to unravel me Come closer, come closer 